am the chief of the human motor control section at the National Institute of Neurological Disorders and Stroke. So we're going to be talking about uh, focal dystonias. Focal means that it's just one place in the body. Dystonia involves abnormal muscle spasms that lead to uh, distorted postures and abnormal motor control. And these focal dystonias can involve different parts of the body. Uh, one of my principal interests has been focal dystonia of the hand. One of the most common is writer's cramp uh, because people tend to write a lot. Um, and another common disorder is different types of musicians cramp, particularly piano cramp. And again, the frequency of these focal dystonias of the hand relate to a certain extent to the frequency of what people do. Writer's cramp is most common because most people write. In terms of musician's cramp, piano player's cramp is the most common because that's probably the most common instrument that people play. Writer's cramp, musician's cramp are not painful situations. Uh, it appears in the patients as a motor control problem. They feel they lose control of their hand as they're doing an activity, but it doesn't hurt. Uh, it isn't painful. Writer's cramp or musician's cramp is a cramp in the brain. It's not a cramp in the muscle. Folk dystonia is a problem of the brain and specifically the brain's control of the muscles. Obviously, when people move, those uh, commands to make movements come from the brain, uh, mediated through the spinal cord. So the brain sends signals down to the spinal cord, the spinal cord sends signals to the muscle uh, to cause the contraction. In dystonia, if you look at the brain, at least superficially, it looks normal. So uh, it's not easy to say, well, there is the problem we can see that there are abnormalities in the basal ganglia. These are the deep, deep nuclei in the brain. And uh, we have evidence, for example, that there is an abnormality of dopamine release in the basal ganglia with movement. There are abnormalities also in other neurotransmitter systems, such as uh, GABA, which is an inhibitory neurotransmitter so that we are beginning to identify problems. The best treatment options that we have at the moment uh, relate to focal injections of botulinum neurotoxin. And so it's a symptomatic treatment. It is not a etiological treatment for the disorder, but it can help. There are some people that are probably predisposed to this. Dystonia, uh, like almost anything else, is not a single cause. There are probably multiple causes. 